Hi, I'm Anissa with Pure Landscape out of Goodyear, Arizona. I wanted to talk a little bit about irrigation and the effect that it has on your plant material. So obviously plants need irrigation to live, they need to be watered. Um, for the most part I'm going to say plants are overwatered. they're watered more than they need to be. In Phoenix I like to shut irrigation off completely in about October and when it starts to cool down and especially if we start to get cool nights. And then I leave it off all winter until about um, March, April if we get an abrupt heat wave, if we start getting into the 90s, kind of suddenly I'll do a manual start on the irrigation to give the plants a drink and the trees a drink maybe. Um, but I won't start a regular schedule back until about May 1st. So with these plants, these are jasmine vines, just wanted to point out a couple of interesting things about them. So the irrigation's been off all winter, it's March right now. And you might be able to tell, they just stayed stationary all winter. They ha had growth, say, to here, where you can tell there's a, there's a dark leaf and then there's bright green leaves. They had growth to here, they just stayed like that all winter. They didn't move, they didn't grow at all, they didn't die, nothing happened, they just stayed right there. One week ago, I watered these for three hours, and in a week's time, we got this much growth on these vines. So you can imagine, if I would keep watering these, on a regular schedule right now, I would just get growth, 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 and pretty soon I'd be trimming, trimming, and there'd be all kinds of maintenance involved. I don't plan on watering these again for at least another month. When it starts getting over 100, I'll watch. The plants will tell you when they need water. When you start seeing maybe brown edges, different plants react differently. You can see brown on the edges. You can see some wilting. Kind of depends. Wilting is often a sign of too much water, so you have to kind of know what you're doing, but um, these aren't going to need water anytime soon. So. The more you water, the more they grow. Already with this amount of growth, you can just imagine how quickly they would grow if they were on a schedule that we often see. We often see plants an hour a day. We see an hour three times a week. We see all kinds of things. I'm a big believer in giving your plants three hours of water each time you water them, and then you just adjust the frequency of that watering. So I don't do any in the winter. I'll have to give them one shot in about March, April when it starts to heat up. And then when it really does start getting hot, May, June, I'll still do the three hours, but I'll just adjust the frequency. The plants will tell me when they need the water. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.